Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Speaking of Business. My guest today is Terry Black. She is with Visa V. We're going to get into everything that you do with your company operational wise as well as the history behind you now working at the company. Terry and I have known each other for a few years. Actually she and I, she reached out to have some assistance. Actually it was Catherine who reached out for some assistance okay. because you were doing an event with Dr. Andrew Frank. And Andrew Frank. And they wanted to have it go live. They wanted to do a Facebook Live, but they didn't quite know the technology and I offered to help. So I showed up with my camera, my tripod, and we did the Facebook Live and it worked out really well. Yeah, it went really well. So as I started the Speaking of Business uh, show, which is both the podcast and the video that you're watching, um, Terry and I were talking and I thought it would be great to have you as a guest because you have moved up in your company. Yes. So you started at one level and now you're moving, you move off into a position where now you're managing other people. That's correct. Yes. And that's why it's important for speaking of business. It's not just the entrepreneurial journey, which I do interview entrepreneurs, but I want to showcase people who are running operations in their business. I think it's important that we get to see the behind the scenes, that you get to see the people who are running companies, not just the CEO or business owner who are very visible, mm -hmm. right? They're the ones who are out in the community doing a lot of great things where COOs and those running companies prefer to be behind the scenes. They like to run things. They like to be with the people. They want to have everyone else be successful. And right. they're more shy about being on camera. So <laughs> I'm doing an okay job getting people to be with me on camera. It's easier to have business owners come on camera because they want to tell everybody about their business. Mm -hmm. I know you do too. Uh, but this is a great opportunity for me to showcase Terry and Vis-a-Vis -vis and what they do mm -hmm. and talk about the operational side of growing this company that you're part of. Right. So how about you start with a little bit of an introduction about who you are, your role now, what you're doing, okay. and then we'll get into the history of what brought you to now be in this position of running a team. Okay, so um, I'm Terry Black and uh, I started with Vis-a-Vis -vis about four years ago mm -hmm. and um, I started as a senior living advisor so I was helping the seniors uh, find retirement homes working uh, directly with them. And um, so we had some changes in our uh, management mm -hmm. at that time, about a year after I started. And um, so the, the regional director had left the company and I, at that point I expressed my desire to kind of uh, work in development because I really have a passion for community development and collaboration. Mm -hmm. So um, the owner of the company at the time uh, suggested I do both roles. So I work as a senior living advisor and as um, someone who does the development. Mm -hmm. So for uh, about two years I did that role and then um, uh, about two years ago I guess at the same time we, we had a, um, a new um, general manager come on board. So um, that's been great to have his support as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has um, introduced a new model for Vis-a-Vis -vis and where he has appointed uh, regional uh, managers in certain areas in Quebec and Ottawa mm -hmm. and um, to uh, kind of help support the team and also uh, help grow the company and uh, bring awareness of our services which, to the community. Mm -hmm. So um, I was offered the position and started my new role in September. Mm -hmm. so and still fairly new. It's fairly new, yes. yes. So we're all still getting used to it because, you know, it's hard to go sometimes from colleague to manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, but we have a good, uh, a good a good team here and uh, you know we were friends before and so we're gonna work together and we're going to uh, move forward. Great. Yeah. I want to talk about the setting where we're at. Okay. Because one of the things I want to do with speaking of business because this is my fourth interview with a COO or someone running a company and uh, we have decided to do this at Governor's Walk. Yes here in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. So this is a retirement residence. I'm going to give you a quick tour so you're going to see a little bit behind the scenes and then we're also going to be interviewing one of your clients who moved here and you're, she's going to get to share her story. She wants to share a bit of her story so we'll have that as part of this interview so you're going to want to watch all the way through. And we have chosen, you've, you've been gifted this suite for us yeah. to do the interview so that one, we're in a comfortable setting. The lighting is great. This is a beautiful suite. It's very large compared to other retirement residences where the suites are very small. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who don't know, I used to own a home transition business. So I worked with families and seniors who were downsizing and moving. And we moved a lot of families into retirement residences. And they're, they're all different. And they're all very specific for certain needs. So 
you have to do your homework, but that's also where you come in, is where you can help families determine what's the best new home for, or the next home for their loved ones. So talk about that service. Let's talk about the service that Visa V provides. Mm -hmm. Who needs this service mm -hmm. and how can you help them? Okay, so um, seniors who are, it's no longer safe uh, to live in their own homes um, can, re use our service. Uh, we get a lot of clients who maybe be admitted to the hospital mm -hmm. and they, they can't go back home anymore because they have no one there to support them. So um, we work with hospitals, we work with uh, nonprofit agencies such as um, Primary Care Outreach and all those different agencies to uh, help support their clients in this mm -hmm. transition. Um, so um, the, the process is that we will get a referral from head office or they will call head office mm -hmm. and um, if it's an email that we get we respond within five minutes okay. and uh, if they phone directly into the office it's uh, three, within three hours the, an advisor will call them okay. and so uh, we, we uh, refer or call back our a referral and uh, mm -hmm. the person who called us and then um, you know get some general information and then we will meet with the client and their families if there are family members mm -hmm. and uh, to help them identify what's important to them um, in a retirement home for example do they have a pet do they want to bring their cat or do they want to bring their dog mm -hmm. um, that type of thing and then um, budget is also very yes. important and um, then, um, you know, different criteria. Um, is somebody an artist? Does somebody like to work out? Does somebody, mm -hmm. you know, that type of stuff? I got, a great, I got a great acronym for you. Can I share it? Sure. So when I was doing presentations and helping spread the word about downsizing and moving, I create an acronym that is BALLS. It's, okay. it's cute yeah. and it's memorable. So it's B-A-L-L-S. Okay. So when you're looking for a place to move, budget, amenities, lifestyle, which you were just mm -hmm. talking about, mm -hmm. location, mm -hmm. and then the big one, space. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a great acronym. So when you're talking to Terry about where you'd like to go, remember budget, amenities, lifestyle, location, and space. Yes. Balls. That's great. So yeah, I thought oh, I'd share you. that with that's you because it's something yeah. that I shared forever when I was had my own home transition business and I was out speaking. It just made it easy for people to now, when they meet with someone like you, yes. say, here's, let's go through this criteria. Yeah, that's right. So I thought I'd share that with Thank you. you so much. And with that's you. That's great. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So yeah. that's what you do. So you yeah. help them determine what their needs are. Yes. So you ask them all the really important questions, maybe Definitely. things they haven't even thought of. Exactly. Yeah, right? Exactly. Things that are really important when yeah. they're downsizing or moving from maybe a home they've been in for 40 years. Yeah, that's right. And now they're moving It's a big move. And you know what? Big. When people move to, and some family members may not understand this or realize this, but it's a loss, right? And mm -hmm. the, their parents are grieving. Absolutely. The loss of their health, the loss of their home, mm -hmm. you know, all their, yeah, all of their belongings. They can't bring all the things that are important to them, so they have to choose. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, uh, yeah. It's, it's very true. emotional, and they need the right person there to be their advocate. That's right. So when someone comes to you, you've gone through the criteria. What are, what are the next steps for them now? The next steps are um, um, our service is personalized. Mm -hmm. So that means that we will follow our client rate from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. So we will um, help with all the criteria they've given us. We will help them um, narrow down their search and we will um, suggest two, maybe three retirement homes mm -hmm. that uh, will meet most of their criteria. Mm -hmm. And so we book the tours and we take them on the tours. We follow them right through. Um, and then when they, they're ready to make a decision, we can be there to assist in signing of the lease. Mm -hmm. And then uh, even after they've moved in, uh, within a month we follow up and make sure everything's going well. Right. And at any time that they're living in the retirement home, they can call us if there's ever any issues that we can be their advocate with our right. retirement home partners right. because we do work as partners with our retirement homes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, because you're that link between the client and what they need mm -hmm. and what they can provide. That's right. So now that you've moved into the role of running a team, let's also talk quickly about what differentiates you. Mm -hmm. So I know I have some very deep relationships with others who are do the work that you do mm -hmm. and I know that you want to ensure that here's how I take it competition matters mm -hmm. if you're really competing with one another and you all bring something really special to the table That's each right. of you mm -hmm. what is special about vis-a-vis -vis? what I find is special about vis-a-vis -vis is that um, maybe uh, the way that we work in the community okay. um, 
I have uh, been fortunate enough to, uh, like I said, do the community development, business development. Mm -hmm. And so I come from nonprofit. And so what I've done is I've actually um, tried to partner with nonprofit agencies um, to help share their story mm -hmm. and their services and what's available to them mm -hmm. by offering and uh, partnering with them and offering education series. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we are the lead referral source for the elder abuse program in Ottawa. Okay. Um, and um, so this is a program through Nepean Rita Osgood Resource Center. And it's called the Respite Bed Program. Okay. And anyone who is uh, experiencing abuse can uh, and qualifies for this program can go into a retirement home seven to ten days and um, it's paid for through the program. Okay. So what we've done is we've identified nine of our retirement home partners, Governor's Walk being one of them, and um, they've actually reduced the respite rate stay so that the, this program can continue Fantastic. and uh, no, vis -vis doesn't get paid. Uh, nobody gets paid. It's mm -hmm. just all of us collaborating together to uh, help the senior who's experiencing abuse. Mm, mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So that's one of the one of the uh, partnerships we built. Also, we built a partnership with Dr. Andrew Frank at the Bruyere Memory Clinic, mm -hmm. and uh, he, his mission is to get out in the community and and educate people on the latest research of dementia and uh, Alzheimer's disease, but also the fact that they need volunteers to continue their research. So we've partnered with them and. Um, uh, I've also partnered with uh, Retired Home, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Catherine Bennett and I yes. work together. We MC the events and we actually offer them in our retirement home partners, mm -hmm. um, in our retirement homes. So, yeah. um, and it's, uh, yeah, an opportunity for everyone to collaborate again, to get together and just educate the community. And, um, and then re most recently, I'm really excited about this too, is um, we're part of the uh, Palliative Care Champlain uh, Lynn Palliative Care Network Committee. Mm -hmm. And their mission is uh, to go out into the retirement homes to um, uh, see how the retirement homes might be able to enhance their current palliative care programs, mm -hmm. as well as maybe provide free education to their staff. So what I've suggested is that we actually um, focus on one company and do it as a pilot project. And so we've already approached somebody and they're agreeing. So we're just in the beginning stages. But what's going to happen is that they we're going to do the whole process, the whole model, create it, mm -hmm. and then do the training. And then uh, we'll be able to duplicate that throughout the city and all the retirement home companies. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's a fantastic yeah. initiative. Yeah. Good for you. That's good, yeah. So now that you manage a team, mm -hmm. how different is it? So here you were, you were, I guess, independent contractors. Mm -hmm. You had your own business mm -hmm. and it was your responsibility to now grow your business underneath the umbrella vis-a-vis. -vis. Yes. Now you have how many on your team? There's three and we've just hired a fourth one who will be starting uh, mid-December. Okay, mm -hmm. so how has that changed things for you now that you're managing a team? Mm -hmm. I want to get to the heart of that because this is where it can get to be more challenging mm -hmm. because now you're running operations and you have people who are looking to you for guidance and support mm -hmm. and you also need to be that source of support for them so that they can be independent and grow their own businesses under the visa v umbrella so let's talk about that what are some of the challenges you have had to face in this role even though it's still new for you mm -hmm. and how what have you done to overcome some of those first ones well i think that um the first thing is like i said previously is going from colleague to manager mm -hmm. um so you know and i think it's um it's going to be a journey you yeah. know and uh it's just something that's natural, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I'm very positive about it. Um, we have a great team, like I said, and um, we all have the same goal of ser serving the seniors and doing our best in the community, making an impact. Mm -hmm. So um, working together and supporting them in their role, um, because I do have the experience of, of a senior living advisor and I know what they're going through and I know their challenges that they're meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's going to be um, a, a positive thing. Um, and so, how do you stay in communication with them? What's the systems that oh, you're using okay. for that? Yeah, um, so um, we communicate a lot through the phone, emails, but we also have um, bi-monthly meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and um, even myself, I have a weekly call with my general manager. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of support in place. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we, and any time that there's any, any issues that the advisors come across, they can call, call me anytime and I'm there to help them. What do you think they struggle with the most as they're starting and how do you support them? What, what do they come to you for the most? Um, I think it's um, 
the uh, the fact that they have to build their own development, like they have to do their own development and build their own partnerships. Um, we always say that 80% of your business comes from your personal referrals and 20% from the office. So it's very important that you are building networks and getting out in the community, doing presentations, making, uh, building relationships mm -hmm. and uh, getting your own personal referrals. So I think that is the challenge that most people face. But that's what I'm here for too, is to help. And if there is a, an area that they want to specialize in, um, I'm very comfortable, um, you know, talking to people I don't know and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, building relationships so I can help them with that as well. Okay. Yeah. I have an idea. Okay. This is really spontaneous. Okay. I haven't done this before. I feel like grabbing one of these cameras and having you walk through this beautiful suite and share some of the things that you're seeing that are really good for those that are downsizing and moving into a suite like this. Okay. Are you up for it? Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna get up. I haven't done this, and why not, right? We're playing, so we have our mics, so we might have to hold our mics. Okay. But let's just grab a camera, and I'm just gonna follow you around. Okay. So let's, we flip the couch, as you can see, because normally you wouldn't have a sofa facing the back of the sofa facing the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. So what we did is we moved the TV down. So this is some of the behind the scenes stuff that people get to see. Yeah. So let's walk through. So we walked in through this door. Yeah. So we're gonna walk in. Yeah. So the nice thing is that they have their closet for hanging mm -hmm. their coats and things like that. Um, then you walk into your living space, your dining, your living There's area. Cameras. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, th these cameras don't come with the suite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so there's your kitchen area as well. So, you know, in this area, you could put a little dining room table if you yeah. wanted yeah. Um, instead of a, uh, a desk. Yeah, because they don't come furnished. That's right. So you get to bring your own thing. That is the idea. Yeah, it's perfect because this is your this is your home, right. right? You want it to feel comfortable. Right. And it's important to bring your own things, put your own paintings on the wall, that type yeah. of stuff. Yeah, and then you could, you know. We're not going to go in the restroom because we no, put a chair in that's there. Right. But the nice thing about this suite is that it's a pocket, <laughs> pocket door. door. Which oh, is you can very open nice. it. We can show them the behind the scenes. <laughs> so I had a previous interview, so there's my clothes and I've got my makeup and my equipment. So this doesn't come with this suite. But this is actually a nice size bathroom. I was yeah. looking at it. And, and it's good for people that maybe have uh, walkers or are in wheelchairs. But and also, if they still want a tub, they can have a tub. That's right, exactly. That's one. And they hand the safety bars in the shower. Right. Yeah, that type of stuff, yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah. so let's okay. keep going so we all don't right. show them my mess. All right, so then again, <laughs> this, I guess this is a, supposed to be uh, maybe your dining area. Right. Yeah, um, nice window space. Or there. another seating area if it they could wanted be. to. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. So this is a two bedroom, so this is very nice. So this is one of the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what people do instead of having a spare bedroom um, is they will set it up as an office. Right. Yeah, and have their own computer. And, but look at uh, the size of this bedroom. I know, very nice, eh? It's actually, there's a double in here, or queen. Sorry, this is a queen. And there's still plenty of room for a dresser. Yeah. There's also a closet behind us here. So. Fantastic. This is yep. a nice size suite. Very nice. And then there's the secondary. This is the master bedroom. Yeah. So there's a master here yeah. with Look another at this. big closet, which yeah. is very white right now. <laughs> <laughs> but nice, it has its own ensuite bathroom as well. Right. And it has a walk-in shower. And this one has the walk-in yeah. shower. Yeah. So, so you can see this here. This is great. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And like I said, it's very spacious about the bathroom. And look at the size walkers. of the doors for the mm -hmm. walkers to yeah. fit through, or mm -hmm. if someone's in a wheelchair. That's right. Right? Yeah. So those are the things you want to pay attention. This is my, my past life coming through. Yeah. But you know, I, one of the things I wanted to do is speaking of business is to show people behind the scenes. That's right. So this yeah. is part of your work. That's right. This yeah. is what you do. This is what we do. Yeah, right. for sure. So we're and the nice thing too, um, with Governor's Walk and most other retirement homes as well, they have a pendant. So that the res residents can wear a pendant in case of an emergency. Right. So they don't have to count on pulling a cord out of a wall. Right. And being close to it. Right. It's a pendant that, um, that they wear on their bodies. So yeah. very nice. Yeah. So you can see this suite is actually quite spacious. Mm -hmm. And then you can certainly ask. Here, I'll get you to sit back down. Okay. I'll set the camera back down. So here you see our setup. A little <laughs> bit of the behind the scenes. So this is our three camera setup. So I'll set this back up here. Voila. voila might not be at the exact perfect spot or spot it was at yeah but yeah so this is just to show a little bit of behind the scenes of when you're doing a tour mm -hmm. with you that's what you expect is that's to right. go through each of the suites you go through the dining room you see the other amenities yeah. um, parking all those other pieces would be included right. with what she does yeah so. and what we do is actually uh, we will send a client profile mm -hmm. to the retirement home okay and uh, so they'll already know our client when we arrive 
Um, but the nice thing is, is that we do not g we give their name mm -hmm. and their criteria, but we don't give their address or phone number. So okay. they have to come through us to to contact our client. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's your point of contact, right? That's right. Yeah. That's your client. Yeah. So we're gonna have an interview as well. Mm -hmm. So you have set something us that something up that's really special. Tell tell our viewers yeah, about that and our really, listeners. Yeah, I helped this lovely couple a couple of years ago and. Um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Campbell and um, Mrs. Campbell was experiencing like really bad burnout, mm -hmm. caregiver burnout and um, I was able to come alongside of them and, and help them um, yeah, reach, a, reach a new point and, and to, uh, to, to come to this uh, residence actually. I'm going to let her tell her story mm -hmm. but um, it's really beautiful and uh, I'm just very blessed to have met this couple and I just love them. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to segue into the interview next. Okay. So my team is going to piece this together. So it looks like they're here and you guys, know, well, you know how it works. It's almost like TV, <laughs> right? Okay, we're going to take a break. And then when we come back, we're going to be with Mrs. Campbell. That's right. <laughs> so okay. basically, that's what we're going to do. And then uh, we're going to wrap up the interview afterwards. Okay, great. All right. All right. Thanks. So this is Mrs. June Campbell, and uh, I helped uh, Mrs. Campbell and her husband um, find Governor's Walk. Um, when we met, they uh, uh, both were facing some health challenges, um, but I'm going to let Mrs. Campbell tell you all about her story. Yeah. Well, my daughter and my son had to close up our home when my husband, he had heart surgery and he had little strokes and he had to go into retirement. Then I fractured my hip and my shoulder. And I mean, that was a crisis. So, so you know, after the hospital stayed, they said, oh, well, you've got to get into a retirement residence. And, and he was in one, I was still in the hospital waiting, and, but he was able to go to the retirement residence first. So, so then um, Barbara, my daughter, she met with Terry, and, um, and she arranged to bring us here to, to Governor's Walk Retirement Residence, and uh, my husband came in March, March the 31st, and, my, and then I came in May, so he was here ahead of me, mm -hmm. so he had a little chance to get used to it, but, uh, but anyway, as soon as we came, we liked it very much, and, and we've been here three years, and it'll be coming up to four years next um, March and May, so that's quite a little length of time, but we've had wonderful experiences here, and I really recommend Governor's Walk. It's a wonderful mm -hmm. place for seniors. But Terry, she helped um, my daughter, you know, plan it all, and, and with Tara, the, the administrator, yeah. so it all went so smoothly. Yeah. I yeah, really everyone appreciated was, it. Yeah, everyone was under a lot of uh, stress at the time, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it was just nice to be able to come alongside and just kind of, oh, you yeah. know, guide you along the way and, uh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I was looking after three men, my husband and my, my son had a little a small stroke, and, but it didn't last long. It cleared quickly. But then and he had a son that was addicted to video, so I was looking after three men there for a while, too, yeah. and that's when I got sick. Yeah, a caregiver oh. for three men, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we all survived these things, eh? Yeah. And when there's good health support, oh my goodness. So I really appreciate her helping me so much. She knows where to place seniors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what has been the benefit of moving to Governor's Walk with your husband? Well, uh, you know, like, uh, I, I, we don't, we're not actually in the same suite. I'm, he's on the downstairs nice room and I'm up immediately above him on the second floor and that works out just fine for us because we both got our own bathrooms and we see each other for all the meals and we're together so much of the time. Eh? It's no problem. I, I like that. I get my rest and I think he gets a better rest too yeah. and it works out well. Mm -hmm. well. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah, thank you so much, Jean. So what did you guys think? Wasn't that great it to have great. Mrs. Campbell come and share a bit of her story with mm -hmm. us? She's a delightful woman. I'm sure you had such a great time working with her and her family. I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I want to thank you. Thank you for having us be at Governor's Walk to get the suite for us so we'd have privacy and for coordinating things so that we can meet Mrs. Campbell and hear her story and also share yours now that you've moved into this role of operations and running a team. Mm -hmm. 
It's not easy. And I did recommend two books while we were uh, chatting. One is Dare to Lead by Brene Brown and Radical Candor. Those are two great books that I've read in the last week that I think are must reads for those that are, well, leadership is whatever we do in all of our lives, even as parents, we're leaders, but the, those books are really, really good. So Radical Candor and Dare, Dare to Lead are great books. I'll put them in the show notes so you guys can link out to them. But thank you again. Thank you it so was much. so good to have spent this time with you. And I know our paths will continue to cross. Mm -hmm. And do go to her, their website for future events, what's happening, to stay in touch with Terry, reach out to her through her social media channels. What's your website? It's visavie.com, B-I-S-A-V-I-E.com. There you go. So do connect with Terry in that way. Do stay in touch. And if you're local, attend the events. Um, the events from uh, the from Briere are phenomenal, mm -hmm. and the program that they're doing and the te the tr not the testing te remind me the program the name research? yes the yeah. research that they're doing is so important yes. and for those that are interested they can find it through your website or contact contact you and you'll connect definitely them I can too. connect them to the Briere yeah. right mm -hmm. all right well thank you very okay, much again, again. you're welcome yeah. and for future episodes and past episodes go to speakingabusinessshow.com. You'll see all our other past guests there and subscribe, go to the podcast channel of your choice. You can also subscribe on YouTube, click that little bell and you'll always be reminded when new episodes come out. So if you're listening to the podcast, subscribe on the podcast channel of your choice. And if you're watching through YouTube, you can like us or favor the movie, favor subscribe to the channel by clicking clicking that's it i'm done i'm done i'm done i did an interview this morning with kareen uh for um uh, yes no sorry i was gonna say she deserves it but that's something in the past it was it's for she did it and she has an event this week so we have spent an hour chit chatting and now another hour with you yeah. <laughs> i'm done i can't Thank talk no more <laughs> anyway <laughs> all right so i'm gonna sign off thanks again take care everybody take care. okay bye <laughs>